Hi, everyone. Hello. Way to let everybody in. I'm going to mute them all. Hopefully, you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. It's already being recorded, so keep that in mind if you guys. I have lots of stuff with me. Hopefully everybody brought a snack to share. Yes, I love seeing your faces. You're like, I know this was Lindley's, one of Lindley's favorite Zooms last challenge, right? And I thought it was a good time because we're like just about that over the halfway and people might need new ideas and stuff. So I, I wanted to do it today. So I thought that would be fun. Yes, this was show and tell, remember? Yes. You yes. love show and tell. I totally remember that. You you came out, you came out with new things. I did. I love it. I'm gonna take this show and tell video. I'm gonna um, crop it, like all this talking and stuff, and I'm gonna put it in the grocery finds group so that every time we start a new challenge, people can go in there and watch these and it'll say members, you know, snacks and stuff. So I thought that would be fun. All right, let me just let the rest of the people in. Oh, I do not have to go to New York next week, um, as I thought I might, because they have to get all four of the instructors together at the same time, and someone had a conflict, so I just have to go down south, which is cool. I still get to record four new rides. All right, let me mute everybody again. All right, let's give it a, another 30 seconds or so. Let me just check my messages. Okay, I, but when we do start, I'm going to talk for a few minutes and then. Um... Sorry, there's people messaging me. I just wanted to read it. I thought it would be like trying to get in here, but it wasn't. All right. So I am going to get started because as always, I have a um, Zoom client after this. So we'll get started. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hopefully you guys are all having a great week. Um, just food for thought. If you wait in on Monday, and this doesn't apply to everybody, obviously, but if you wait in on Monday and your scale went up, if it went up more than ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, if it went over that, a pound is what I'm saying, then think about what you did over the weekend or prior to that weigh-in. Um, if you did not do a hold myself accountable weigh-in on Friday or Saturday, it behooves you to do that. Because a lot of times we secretly eat and don't put it in the log. And I say that because I was talking to a member yesterday and I'm not going to say names. And if he's on here, he'll know because there's not very many guys. Um, but he was saying how he was hungry and, you know, he needed something to snack on. And I was like, well, you need to start eating more fulfill fulfilling foods because you shouldn't be hungry. Like your, his numbers are, are enough for him 
to eat because he's not working out a lot. Um, and he's like, well, I had a couple of dates. And I, so I looked at his numbers first and I was like, well, you had room for more food. You know, you could go over 10 for your proteins and carbs and you had some left. So technically you could have had like, really he could have had rice cakes with tuna or with peanut butter or a sweet potato with a little bit of peanut butter on it. Any of that, his numbers would have fit. But he said he had a couple of dates. So I was like, all right, well, that still fits. It's a couple of dates, not too bad. Why don't you put them in? And he's like, well, it wasn't a couple. It was like eight or 10. So if anybody knows what a date is, it's pure sugar, it's fat, it's carbs, but he didn't log it because so his numbers looked really good. But when I started asking questions and finding out stuff, he's like, yeah, well, I had a couple of dates and then it turned out to be eight to 10. And he's like, yeah, I failed. He didn't fail, but, and there is no pass or fail, but if I didn't question that and didn't know that, and I looked and saw he had gained weight, let's say, then I would think it was something that I did. You know, the numbers aren't right or something wasn't calculated correctly. Um, you are not, you're doing yourself a disservice by not logging every single thing you put in your mouth. And I say this all the time, Danielle and Eni bought me an awesome cup and on it, it says, if you snack it, you track it. If you bite it, you write it. It doesn't matter what it is. It has to be logged. Because those few grams make such a big difference. If you go over 10 grams of fat, that's 90 calories. In the big picture, that's huge. When you think about it, only 90 calories, not a big deal. But when you start adding up extra protein, extra carbs, now you're up 200 calories over what you should have had. If you do that every single day, that's 1,400 extra calories. You need 3,500 deficit to lose one pound. And that's why you're not losing a pound every week because you're not tracking everything. And I'm not looking at anybody in particular. I'm just saying in general. Um, and this one particular person is is struggling and he knows he is, but he kicked ass when he first started and then took some vacations. And so you have to pull yourself back, refocus, regroup, and you have to track everything. Everybody's got that, right? Everything. If you put crystal light in your water, you have to track it. There's a little bit of carbs in there. I probably go through, and I'm going to get to this, but I go through easily a 17 pack of gum a day. Right? Hold on. So, and I'm blind, by the way. This has over 20 grams of sugar in here, carbs. This one pack, 20. That's a lot. This is sugar free gum, by the way but it has carbs, one carb per piece. And I eat 17 easily a day. So first thing I do in the morning is I track a full pack of gum. Cause I know it stops me from eating. And that's something I'm gonna talk about later, but I know I have to have gum. I have to have gum. When I had that jaw issue, I thought I was gonna have a nervous breakdown. When I had that, how to get those shots inside my jaw for my braces. I, I thought I was gonna lose my mind because I couldn't have gum, but um, you have to track it. Tic Tacs, don't let it fool you. Tic Tacs have carbs. It will lie to you and tell you it has no sugar. It has carbs. You guys all know, I'm not going into my Swedish fish story, but you have to, have to, have to log it. Okay, um, something else I wanna talk about. I don't want to be that person, but can you look at my numbers? Cause I can't eat all those proteins. Obviously I'm not that person. I'm just saying what somebody said. Um, I have no problem reviewing your macros. As long as you have no problem with me not adjusting them when I come back to you. There's really only two reasons 
why I'm going to adjust your macros. You've lost 10% of your body weight or your exercise has changed significantly. That being said, if you come to me and you ask me to look at your macros because you think I'm going to reduce them, chances are they're going to go up. So be careful what you ask for. So I'm not naming names, but I love when people smile when I tell the story. And now Cheryl's moving her head. So now I'm going to call you out. So Cheryl's one of those people. And I'm like, all right, how much are you exercising? And she gives me like this list. And I'm like, oh my God, that's like seven hours easily a week. And I know she does, which is why I asked. Because she's in my spin class. She's in my chisel class. She's in my orange theory classes. She's doing the band workouts. So I know she's working out a lot. What happened when she asked me to look at her macros? They went up. Remember, the more you eat, the more you lose. When um, Alicia at one time said, can you look at my numbers? I'm at a standstill. And I bumped them up. She started losing it again. So don't be alarmed if you're at a standstill for three weeks. And I'm like, all right, let's look at your numbers. And I bump you up. Because that's going to make a huge difference sometimes. And, you know, it's a science. So it's guaranteed to work. I can't guarantee my program will work because I don't live with you. And I'm, I'm not with you 24 hours a day. Um, but if you stick to the numbers, it's guaranteed to work. And if I have to change them, it's just little tweaks here and there. Okay. Um, if you have not watched previous Zooms and you're watching this on record or you're watching this now with me live, please watch the past Zooms. I, I don't wanna to have to keep repeating myself from a meeting previous, previous, previous. Everything's in the meetings. And if you watch them as we do them, you'll be so caught up. And I do answer a lot of questions in our meetings that I do get asked. I mean, that's why I have the meetings. And I've been trying to make topics as we go so that you guys um, know what meeting is in what. I have a question. Was this a dream? Or in the update form, did I ask by, for input on future meetings? I did. OK. I could not remember if it was a dream I had, if I was going to do it, if I did it, so good. I'm glad I did it. And I didn't look because I forgot all about it. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go last with what I brought because I probably have a lot of what you guys have because I've shared what I have with you all. Um, and we're gonna go down the line when I, raise your hand as I say who brought something. Um, and I'm just gonna go down in the order that I see people. There's 20 of you on here. And then I have brought stuff. And the stuff I brought is more explanation-ish. Not something new for you guys, probably. Um, but anyway, all right. Raise your hand if you brought something. Beautiful. All right, so Terry Ann, I did get your message. And I will let you know, and I love that your, your husband's going to join because we have lots of couples in here, which is awesome. Um, all right, so you go first. Oh, this is my favorite. You recommended them. I tried every um, flavor probably, but this one, the fudge brownie one, is my, my favorite. Because it has the chunks of brownies in it. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, I, I keep watching and, and looking. Like, I went to... Um, what was the market today? Whole Whole Foods. I got the chopped meat, and um, cause I was near. I was in Orlando, so I was near one. I don't have one near where I live, but um, so I got some chopped meat. I'll make some chili or do something with it. Yeah, that was a good deal, right? Yeah, but I love all like the recommend recommendations because you kind of like get stuck trying to figure out what to get. Yeah, you get in your own head. <laughs> You keep eating the same things all the time, all the time. I love that. I'm a creature of habit. I have no problem with that. You can ask Mike, I eat the same thing all the time. My lunchbox is the same thing every day, but I know I'm an anomaly. And I know that um, just because I'm not a foodie, every, there's most 99% of the world loves food. Um, so I, I agree. I love it. And changing the group to Amazon grocery, I mean, not Amazon, to amazing grocery finds or whatever it is. I think it'll be great because now everybody will just plug it in. One thing I want to say about that Amazon, uh, I keep saying that, the amazing groceries thing, please don't post it if you're not going to tell us where you got it. You have to say, with the picture and before you post the picture, say where you got it, just so we're not having a long thread and then it gets disappeared. 
So um, the you also bars you have in your hand, Terry Ann. Can you just tell us the calories and the macros? Yeah, um, the calories are uh, 100 per serving, one gram of fat, 19 carbs, and five proteins. Thank you. Awesome. And it's so funny to get your carbs in. Yes, I was going to say, that's a great way if you need to get a little bit of your carbs in. You guys all know I put that in for the week, basically. Um, Sharon, who I don't know if she's on here, I can't tell because there's so many people, but she messaged me prior to the meeting and she's like, Yasuo bars are life changing for me. She's like, I'm, she eats very healthy, but she said she you know, always wants a snack. And she said it was so crazy that she never knew these existed. And it's true. It's like, we never know until you, someone else brings it up, which is why we're doing this. Okay. The next person, raise, everybody raise your hand. If you brought the food, sorry, not everybody raise your hand. All right, I'm gonna go in line. Danielle, you're up. Hi, so my new find is these 100 calorie oatmeals. And they come- Bring it closer to the screen. Okay. I found them at Target. And they have um, glasses. Uh, 18 carb, two fat, and four protein. So at night, nice. I'm still, you know, not starving, but a little hungry and I have carbs left, I'll have one of these. Uh, that is awesome. And I want to piggyback on that because I brought something that I want to piggyback with that. So that right there, you have your 19 carbs, you said, right? 18. 18 carbs. So kind of like a Yasa bar. 18 yeah. carbs. If you buy protein powder in a container and you mix it in your oatmeal, you will now basically negate the carbs. Remember, if you eat protein with carbs, it breaks it down faster. It doesn't negate them. It breaks it down faster and it tastes amazing. One mm -hmm. scoop of protein powder. I mean, that's the only reason why I brought this up here today. I'm glad you did that. I did. We had, this was not planned. You take one scoop, you put it in your oatmeal, mix it up. Don't cook it with the protein powder in it. So you make your microwave your oatmeal first. When it's hot, then you add your protein powder. If you have PB2, which I was gonna grab, but I forgot. If you put some PB2 in there, it tastes like um, Reese's peanut butter cup oatmeal. Ooh. It's amazing. It's, it's called um, chocolate mud something. I can't remember what it's called, but years ago, I used to follow um, Ashley Horner. Do you guys remember when I used to follow Ashley Horner? I did all her programs like probably 10 years ago. And that was one of the finds that I got from her was that. And I do it all the time, all the time. So um, thank you for the oatmeal. And now I use one of my things that I was going to show. Um, and this is the protein powder that we all buy already made in the milk containers. Everybody buys the premier proteins. They actually have it just powder. So you know you're going to like what it tastes like. And if you buy, if you can find it in other flavors, you could just stick that in your oatmeal without having to add PB2. Where do you get that? I knew you were going to ask that. I can't remember. I'm Not sorry. Only Amazon. I only really shop Amazon. Really. They have it at uh, Target too. Oh, Target. Stacey, you have Target? I'm sure. Tammy, Target. Thank you, Tammy. All right. Next up, hands go up because now my, my order moved. All right, Stacy, you're up. And then Lindley, you're on base. I mean, you're on deck. I love magic spoon. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Don't go yet. Boys. You may continue. I love magic spoon. I'm addicted. Which is so funny because where's Danielle now? She's moved on my screen. Oh, there you are. Danielle, remember when we got on that magic spoon kick? Yes. So which flavor is that? Chocolate. Okay. And what do you put in it? I just add milk. That's it. I didn't realize to add more protein, but it has 13 grams of protein in a cup of it. How much carbs? Carbs is 15. And so it's like a protein bar. And then how and much? Seven fat. fat. 
So that's a great option too. And Magic Spoon comes in so many different flavors. I don't like it. My sister loves it. I what love mush. It? My sister what? hates mush. So what is it? What is Magic Spoon? I don't even know what it is. Cereal. cereal? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Stacy, take some out in your hand. Hold on. This one's not open. Let me get an open one. Um, Danielle, did you like it? I can't remember. I didn't love it. It was okay. What There's a trick to it. There's a trick to it. Normally with cereal, you have to eat it before it gets soggy. You have to let this sit in milk for just like a minute before you start eating it. Which flavor is in your hand? What flavor is that? Chocolate. chocolate. Oh, okay. It's the same one. Okay. So it looks, it like, looks like Cheerios. Yeah, it looks like puffs or Cheerios. All right. And did you order it online at Magic Spoon? Um, I do it on Amazon. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you brought that up because I remember Danielle and I were talking about that too one time and we never talked about it again because it wasn't our favorite stuff, but there are different flavors and you never know. Maybe the next retreat, I'll order a bunch of them and everybody can just try it. That would be fun. Maybe I'll do something like that for the next retreat. We'll have like try new foods or something. I don't know. I think of all these things and then I forget. And Sharon was here when I brought up the Esso bar thing. So that was cool. I just saw your name pop up, Sharon. Okay, raise your, not raise your hand. Lindley, you're up next. Thank you, Stacey. That was awesome. That's great. Um, okay, so Shannon just put up her big giant container of protein powder. I, I have not graduated to that yet, but I am addicted to the protein drinks. Um, and I at least have one, sometimes two a day. And I just found pumpkin spice so <laughs> it's really sweet uh it you know what i don't do um i don't drink coffee and so i feel like this is the time of year where everybody's having their pumpkin spice lattes and you know enjoying the, the fall and since i live in downtown west palm beach there is no fall um but Anyway, I just thought this is this is not new and different other than it's a limited edition and yeah. I found it on Amazon. So. And it's really good. And to piggyback off of what yours, you have there, if you drink coffee and you put that in your coffee, you now have your pumpkin latte approved by the Shred Tribe versus Starbucks. Yeah. So that's not my, that's, I just tossed that in because it was a special find. Okay. But what I there are um, these wraps. So let's see. Your so, background is taking away the picture of your wraps. Hang on. Shoot, hang on, let me. I don't think I, it'll take me too long to change my background. I can see it now, stay right there. We got it, oh, stay right there. It is Tomorrow's, T-U-M-A-R-O-S, um, and they're multi-grain. They are 60 calories three carbs, five proteins, and that's it. And so they're wraps. And when I first started out, I was like eating turkey and chicken for every meal. And I was just eating it plain. And after a while, I'm like, I got to mix this up. So I literally went to Publix and stood there with my phone and my scanner. And I scanned every single solitary wrap in the wrap section. And there's like, I don't know, 50. And I had one that looked A, edible and B um, that had the lowest amount of macros and they're really good. And I'm they get them. I eat a sandwich every day. So I would love to not have to use all those carbs. They, um, they, they stick to your bones. They don't fall apart. So when you go to wrap them, you know, they don't split and um, it makes, it makes a difference. So anyway, tomorrow, T-U-M-A-R-O. And this one is multigrain. They have, a, they have some different flavors but this was the one that was the most edible in my, according to my palate and had the right amount of macros. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lindley. I know everybody's going to run out and get them and then they're not going to be on the shelves anymore. Cheryl, you want to say something or you have something? You're muted still. I see that. Okay. I have a product. Okay. Awesome. Go. Okay. Thank you, Lindley. I love these. They're outer aisle cauliflower things. Oh yeah. And they have, they're selling them at Costco now, which you, it was really hard to find them for a long time. Even at Whole Foods, they wouldn't have them. And I ordered them online and they're actually much more expensive when you order them through the company. 
Um, but these are just like, it's like, uh, I'll take them out of the box. Hold on. They're like two little sandwich, they're little sandwich thins. They come individually and they look like, they look like this and you'd put them in the toaster. And I make all kinds of sandwiches. Usually I like I'll make an egg, egg white omelet and with some spinach and make a sandwich with it, and put some laughing cow cheese on it. And it's really, they're really delicious. I feel like I'm eating a real sandwich. And the macros are, they're a hundred calories for two pieces. And the total fat is, oh my goodness, it's really little. Um, for all like, holy smokes, the total fat is six grams, the total carbohydrate is three grams, and the total protein is nine grams. That's awesome. Yeah. So and I use those too. I use them with my turkey and my cheese. I use it for everything. I love yeah, I make tur Same turkey sandwiches, everything. I love them. So I highly recommend getting them at Costco. They sell them in bulk. It's like 10 bucks for this whole box of them. That's really good. They sell them same kind of thing at Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. You guys remember during quarantine, I waited online at Trader Joe's to get my turn just to go in and grab those and leave. And I took a picture. I'm like, who waits on a line of 10 just to get those things? But they're amazing. They're so good. If you have not tried them, they really only taste good if you microwave or toast them, though. Toast them, yeah. They're not good cold, to be totally honest with you. I've tried it. They're not good cold. Um, thank you, Cheryl. That's awesome. I love those. All right. Does anyone else have something they want to share? I'm going to read all the comments also in case people don't read them. Go ahead, Tammy. You're up. Okay. And I did go to Costco and I found those. Um, I was so excited because I couldn't find them for the longest time. And I haven't toasted mine yet. I eat them right out of the refrigerator. Oh, no <laughs> way. I think that's how you're supposed to eat them. I like them. So Maybe because I tried the opposite first. Maybe I should have tried it cold first. Yeah, I did. I, I eat them every day for a sandwich with turkey and cheese. But anyway, I'll toast it. Um, so I am a pasta person. That's I'm not into sweets and those yazos. I've had all that. I'm not a dessert person at all. It doesn't float my boat. But I am pasta and rice. So I have these the skinny pastas. Yep. And um, you can get them. I get them on Amazon. They're really cheap. I have a box of 20 of them. And... You can get linguine. These are like, just like spaghetti, but you can get linguine. You can get any type of size you like. The calories are 10. The fat, oh, the fat is, uh, hold on, I got to go in the light. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad work. To, it has so to be, if the calories are 10, it has to be like, oh, zero. Total yeah, fat is say. zero. And protein is um, zero. It's really not. It's air. I'm eating it's air. Like, it's Total like carbs. Carbs are um, five. Oh, five. So, five yeah. four, it, it's like a, yeah, it, it, it's really nothing. But like if I need a pot, but that way I can eat, you know, something else. And this is just like a filler. Um, but you season them however you want to season them. I do them with like some butter and um, salt and pepper and garlic. And I mix it. I put shrimp in it. I mix it with chicken. I mix it. So it's just like a little pasta dish missed your stuff that's awesome so, i they like that the assorted kind of pasta like the sorted shape not shapes but types of pasta right. in the box yeah they do they do so i have to try that one too i just got this one and then real quick i have one little thing that i these are kind of neat i found these so when i do need a sweet these are called peanut butter bites and it's one little, like, I'm not a sweet person, but if I go to the baseball field, sometimes I just want like a little something and like after dinner. So it's like one, it's like a little, I don't know. It's just like an inch. Like a tootsie roll. Yeah, it, right. It's like a big tootsie roll, but it's um, for a sweet, right? So they have peanut butter, they have like cocoa. It's 70 calories. Total fat is 4.5. Protein is two. Carbs are eight. Where do you so, get uh, Amazon. Okay. I need so to look it up. And the name is, um, yeah, I'll put it Pasokin. P A S O K I N is the brand. Say it again. Spell it again. Uh, P is in Paul. A S O K I N. Okay. And they're called peanut butter bites. And um, it's just, just a little treat. 
need to add that to my shred tribe approved show. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tammy. Both of those things are really, really good. I bought that pasta. I've yet to use it because I'm not a pasta person. I'm a total sweets person. Um, yeah. But I thought it because I was like, oh, you can make them green. I'm like, I was all excited. And it's been sitting there. But I give them to people when they come over. I'm like, these are great. You're trying. They're like, have you tried yeah. them? Like, oh. Yeah, my, um, my son who's 14 and is very, very, I wouldn't say picky. He just lives on pizza and junk shit and he but he's 14 and he can right now and he's super and tall and skinny and super baseball. Tall, yeah baseball player very athletic and he I was eating it with my shrimp and it was like smelled good I garlic in it and everything he's like oh what is that I didn't say anything I said you want to try it he's like yeah ate it he was like mom that's good Where, what did you how did you make that I'm like You're, you like that and he goes yeah and I showed him what these were and he goes what is that <laughs> that is so funny yeah, you, can't, you can't tell them before they get to try it. You, they have to try it first. That's so funny. That's awesome. If anybody tries it, let me know. I have tons of it. If anybody wants it and you live locally. <laughs> Palmini is really good too, which is um, hearts of palm pasta. Yeah, I saw that somebody put on the recipe. I'm getting that this weekend. I'm going to try that. We've made that. Mike and I love it. Yeah. Finley doesn't <laughs> like it, obviously. She's covering her face. I'll so try it last night for the first time because I, I followed it I saw the recipe and I thought well this will be good it's it just takes some getting used to I love hearts of palm but it does not have the consistency of pasta so I put it with the silver palette and you know and I put it with a little bit of fat-free cheese I did everything but and I expected it to taste like a giant bowl of you know linguine and it it was weird so um it takes some getting used to you know, I wish I could put like garlic, you know, garlic and butter on it and it probably tastes better. But at the end of the day, it's hearts of palm. I felt like I had hearts of palm and tomatoes for dinner instead of a real meal. That's so. kind of true. That is kind of true. I think Mike had said that, but they have a heart. They have the palmini lasagna cheese. Yeah, but that requires, now you start to, that now you're cooking. I don't cook. Oh, I, know. So, I don't either. But I was thinking like somebody that is in the group could do it for something and let us know. But yeah, it's not, it doesn't taste like real pasta. Just like but better not uh, spaghetti squash doesn't taste like real spaghetti. It still tastes like uh, stringy. But it takes away that feeling of wanting to have that. Right. Does anybody else have anything? Leah, did you have your hand up? Do you have anything? So. I love the Yasso mint chocolate chip bar. Those are the ones you and can I'm not a, also, I think. I'm not a sweet eater per se, but for some reason, I like at the end of the night, I like something sweet. And so that kind of satisfies everything. So it's 100 calories. It's got three grams of fat, 6% carbs, and 10% protein. And... um. I like that one. And I like they had the also the mint chocolate chip cookie one that I actually really like. Oh, my really? problem is yeah. that. Yeah, and it's really good. But you guys have so much more stuff than I have here. And what's so funny is the two Leah's that are in the group, Leah Scott and Leah Weiss, you both, one of you lives in Bermuda and one of you lives in St. Thomas. And neither of you can get the stuff we talk about. Yeah, and it's really frustrating because we can't get it. And some of the stuff that they do have is like so ridiculously expensive that it's just not even worth buying. So I actually did do an order for some built bars, the built churros and the stuff that they have. So that should be coming in. And then I'm actually planning to go to the States for Thanksgiving. And so I'm just going to do a great big kind of Amazon order and get all of the quest things and everything that I want. But yeah, you know, it's, that's really, really frustrating because we, I don't have access to kind of the same sorts of things. Right. And even though I say that I can eat the same thing every day, I actually really am lying because then I kind of, I'm like, I don't want to eat that shit today. I want to eat something else. Like I want to. And so I'm struggling with my macronutrient count because on paper I can do it. And then I look at it and I'm like, I really don't want that today. Right. Like I don't, like today I was supposed to have fish and sweet potato. And I was like, I don't want that. I want a pork chop and something else. And then I made it and then I haven't eaten it because I don't have any appetite. 
Right, which you have to make sure you eat it, but that's personal. We're not gonna, we don't wanna go into yeah. personal people things, but um, whatever you put in your log, you need to eat, but if you change it, you need to eat what you change it to. So that's just the general, general um, statement. Um, and you know, we have a lot of people from Canada in the group too, and they don't have that. But when they come to the States, they stock up and they bring it over. And Leah was, the other Leah was just here and she did that too. So that's a great idea. Does anyone else have anything they want to share? I don't want to cut anybody off. I can't see like people that are just without a picture. So I'm guessing everybody, oh, Brian, go. Okay. Um, I like these uh, Fit Crunch bars. I can't see. I can see it. Oh, you're now you're muted. Those are the best. I'm so mad that Shannon told me about them. They are. I can eat four of them. I have to stop. They're really good. They yeah, are really, they're good. really good. Yeah, they're just as satisfying as like any candy bar yeah. you could get. Yeah, they're delicious. And when you so, eat four, you might as well have had a Hershey's bar, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I like. Which flavor is that? Well, the only one, the only flavor I've ever had is the chocolate peanut butter because I get it from Costco. Yeah. I see they do. I see they do have other flavors, but yeah, this is the only one I've ever gotten. So they're yeah, on like sale right now at Publix, and they have the mint chocolate chip one and peanut oh, butter okay. and jelly. And peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, yeah so someone add peanut butter and jelly? jelly. That doesn't sound good. It's uh, delicious. That sounds good to me. You guys are all talking, so I have no clue what you guys are saying. Danielle, what did you just say? They have peanut butter and jelly at um, Target. And oh, delicious. yeah. We found that on the retreat. Yeah. I liked it, but didn't love it. What I did love is if you are anywhere near Ideal Nutrition in downtown West Palm, and I have to imagine it's at both locations. And um, I'm sure if you go on like Robert Irvine's website, they have chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm. And it actually, when you bite into it, your teeth sink into the cookie dough. Oh. So it's amazing. It's Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch, just like you had that one, but it's chocolate chip cookie dough. It like melts in your oh. mouth. It is amazing. I have not gone yeah. back there. I got one there. It was just too good. So I haven't gone back there. But because um, like you guys said, I would want to eat them all day long. If you were in my car, I would eat them all day long. <laughs> but it's a great thing to bring up because they are really good if you are person. I'm a sweet, I'm not a, a, a um, savory person. All right, does anyone else have anything they wanna share? All right, well, we are, we have, I have, we have 49 seconds left. So I love that you guys shared that stuff. Um, we're gonna do this every challenge. So you guys gotta find new things to bring to the next challenge. If you're staying in, which so far I've gotten, all yeses um, that are staying in for the next challenge. So think of new things, find new things, bring new things. Oh, let me read these questions really quick. I don't know if I can or not, but here we go. Um, oh, you guys can scroll in the comments, right? Okay, so make sure you guys scroll in the comments then I don't have to read them all because it looks like there's links and a bunch of other things in here. Um, and just people saying, yeah, they're great and blah, blah, blah. So um, what is the bar? The bar is Robert Irvine Fit Crunch. Um, I have the mint chocolate chip ones downstairs. They're so good too. The churro built bars are like eating churros. And the mint chocolate chip, I mean, the mint um, puff built bars are like Bless eating you, patties. Wash which, your hands, good. The what? Go ahead, Brian. Oh, maybe he wasn't talking to us. Brian, what did you say? Now you're muted. You talk when you're not muted. I don't know what you're saying now. Um, 